Good evening, everyone. It is time for us to play games once again. Unfortunately, we're not playing the game that I had intended for us to play tonight because, as you may have noticed, we're actually starting a few minutes late as well. The game we were supposed to be playing tonight, Half Minute Hero, has somehow decided that they don't want to be streamable. So Mixer refuses to stream Half Minute Hero. I'm pretty sure I could probably get around that if I had a capture card and, you know, point of middle finger towards the developers there. But I don't have that. <laughs> so instead, we just move on to our next one. So tonight, instead, we're going to be playing the significantly less fun and less topic-worthy Interpol, The Trail of Dr. Chaos. Uh, with me, as usual, I have Dez. Dez, how you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I have a, I have a coffee. So have a coffee. I'm excited. It's, it's a little late to be having coffee, even for your time. I know. That's okay. I have a problem. <laughs> I have the same problem. And joining us, uh, because we wanted a, a special guest for Half Minute Hero, but even though we don't have Half Minute Hero, he's still joining us. Uh, we have a special guest here tonight, Freem Hole. Freem, how are you doing tonight? I'm fantastic. fantastic. It's great to be hanging out. And, I mean, Half Minute Hero, Interpol, I, I don't know anything about either one of them, so... <laughs> I wasn't going to be much help regardless. We are joined. Uh, our audience is here already. Fantastic. Ypod, good to see you again. Um, Freemhole is going to uh, help us out and make sure we stay on interesting topics, I hope. Uh, I have a couple of things. Whoa, that that's figure... a lot of pressure. Well, I figure I can uh, rely on you to give us good intel uh, on some stuff that is uh, very, very interesting to all of us. Uh, my recollection is that you're actually the brainchild behind the UHH. It was, yes, I, I did create the concept. It initially was called the Fat Challenge, the Freemholes Achievement Tournament, uh, but not being the, well, I mean, I am a giant narcissist, um, but I decided maybe I'm not going to do the bean potter round and call it after myself, <laughs> and I, I, I let Rich and Jack change the name, so yes, it has now become the ultimate head-to-head -head challenge. And of course, obviously, the longer these things go on, the more changes there are. The current iteration, UHH3, is probably a far cry from where it started. But it's an interesting concept, so uh, I, we're going to talk about that later on, I'm sure. But I'm going to go ahead and get started here with Interpol, so we can at least get the gameplay and get our chat started. Dr. Chaos has escaped. Uh, I'll be honest, my recollection of what this game even is, is not great, because I haven't researched it. I wasn't planning to play this. I know it's, we're hunting for Dr. Chaos. I think it's like a hidden object game or something close to that. <laughs> That's what I hear. So we'll see. Uh, Mr. Smith, the con artist, uh, or Hammer the Mercenary. We're going we're gonna to go find all those and bring them to justice. No more vacation. I mean, this is Interpol, right? So I think you have to say this in a British accent. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, French. Oh, French. Interpol That's... is French. I thought it was like a Europe global thing. Their headquarters are in France, aren't they? Oh, I, can you do I don't a French know. accent? I, I can probably do a better French accent than I can do a British accent. Everyone can do Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Apparently this game has multiplayer. Why does this game have multiplayer? Would you get two cursors going around? I bet it's I touch co-op. The headquarters for Interpol are in Lyon. So yeah. So, yeah. That. so it's co-op local, co-op, couch co-op, or on Xbox Live. That's pretty awesome. I don't know what it actually would do. So like I said, I don't know this game right now. So we're going to start it up. The Hunt for Dr. Chaos begins here. Right here, right now, Dr. Chaos is going down. Uh, yeah, let's get the mission select. I'm assuming I'm selecting the first mission because I can't have one. We start in San Francisco. I've actually never been to San Francisco. No, me neither. My uh, my sister lives out in Los Angeles, but I, bet eh, I haven't visited her either. <laughs> that dude looks messed up. What's his problem? Have we had like reconstructive surgery to protect our identity? Is that you, or is that I... Doctor Chaos? I honestly don't know. We've read the files. <laughs> this is Wait, a reading game. Capture yeah. Mr. Smith. I, I, I thought you were Mr. Smith. Should, should we be doing reading games? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've well, we, already we, missed crucial information. We can talk it out. Talk it out. I think... I, th I think... I think that... So that dude clearly looks like a bad guy. Yeah. 
But I mean, it's, are we he had, a, he had a tuxedo. Most bad tuxedos guys are tuxedos. Tuxedos are neither good nor bad. Well, you have know, James Bond would be wearing tuxedo as well. So, uh, we James can go Bond to... is the bad guy? Oh well, yeah, he is a pretty bad guy. So... Especially if you read Ian Fleming. That, that dude's a yeah. tuck, tuck, Tuxedo guy is not going to the Fisherman's Wharf. I mean, come on. He's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, Union Square. Everyone shows up at Union Square eventually, right? We have 28 <laughs> objects left, and we have half an hour to find them. And four hints. So it does appear to be a hidden object game of some sort. Uh, 28 objects. Yeah, so the, there's eight objects in Union Square, 12 in Lombard Street. So we should probably go to Lombard Street first, do you think? Let's do it. Yeah, let's get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the way we achieve that we go after gaming and achievements. Get the kid it over with. Grind it out. Let's just get it done. To be honest, though, like, it just actually is a, I mean, kind of a cool streamable game if you, you know, because, yes, we're not necessarily able to directly impact it, but, like, you can look and see with them. Right, every, everyone's and looking so, for me, you so know. if I miss something, you'll be yeah. pointed out to me. Especially with us on chat. Must find all the objects listed in the items list located at the top of the screen. Find them all before the time runs out. We have thir half an hour for all of the objects, which uh, is not just this one screen, but the other two screens as well. We need to find a caterpillar, an ID badge, an infinity sign. I was going to say, can you almost just leave this up and look around it without starting the time? Is there Apparently, an achievement for... Uh... <laughs> it seems that you can. Because I think I... I see sourdough right underneath the uh, continue button. That looks like a piece of bread right there. It does. And the yin yang is on the window. Yeah, it's a sticker. Yep. That's going to be an easy one, the yin yang. I don't know about the sourdough. I'm not sure if that's correct. It's got um, to be bread. Sourdough bread, right? Okay, we'll give it a click. I think that, is, it, is that a loaf of bread? I can't even I honestly tell. Don't it looks know. like a loaf of bread. Use the or left stick or D pad to move the cursor around. When you find an object, push the A button to remove it. It's pretty simple. So there's the yin yang. We all agree. That was nice and easy. Yep. Oh, there's the a bear. So the zoom? Oh. oh, telescope up on the balcony there. If you get stuck, push the, the top left. The tips. Oh, good find. So did you look at the achievement list and have an I understanding have not. of... I have not. Not at all. Okay, I think so I looked is, at it so one time before, but I haven't... Cold See, I turkey I here. I do not think this is the bread. This does not seem I like I think bread. it is. I think you're wrong. Super bread. Miss yep, it's bread. One piece well, of bread, and the other one's behind that sourdough. tuba thing. Oh, there was two. Okay. Yeah, because it took the two off. Yeah, the other one's okay. behind the tuba there. There it is. Good call. All right, I was. I'm not good at this. This looks like an ID badge to me. Sure. Apparently, that's been skull off. on there. No. <laughs> oh no, the master criminals have left their calling oh. cards. Are these bonus items oh, and okay. extra points and more time? So I got more time for doing that. So that's cool. Gotcha. Uh, Caterpillar. So that's not even, looks like it that's might just be like down, a bonus thing. Might be down here by these uh, plants. That would be where the caterpillar is. The purple flower. Yeah, I see it. Uh, it's more like an inchworm, though, to be honest. Even my wife's gotten involved. She's pointed out that the California flag has a bear on it, so that's our bear. Cool. Sneaky. Good stuff. And there's a teddy and bear. There's a teddy bear in the, bear in the teddy van. Bear. Yep. That counts as a bear. Mm-hmm. You got that caterpillar nice. on the leaf there. Oh, the ID. Well yeah. done. There it is. Get that caterpillar. You saw the caterpillar? Lower right corner. Oh, and there's, there's the infinity Yeah, lower sign. right corner. That, that, that inchworm thing. Ypod wants to know if this is what working in actual Interpol is like. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be. Yes. It's exactly like this. One this mask. is very real. In the my... uh, there's a mask the next to that poster. That's a purse. There's a mask next to the, on top of the laptop, next to the uh, w the poster inside the van, directly above the skull. I have so many notifications the going off. There it is. There you Good go. Call. So this looks like a, just a painting. I don't think this is a mask. I don't think so either. Is that a mask, like a gas mask, right in front of that other one? With the goggles there? Oh, yeah, it is. It looks like a gas mask. Sweet. Achievement! Achievement. <laughs> All right, I have for sourdoughs. <laughs> you got the first one, which 99% of people get. Ah, uh, uh, TA for the win. Well, 99% of people find get TA. all eight items in a 
city location in the single player. So let's click on the draw. Find three items in five seconds. Hey, Fishel, thanks for joining us. Hey, Facial, how you doing, man? Facial just rejoined the random to-do list. Oh, excellent. I'm, I'm excited about the new format. There's our blip. Which, the shorter four-month little the, time frame thing? The, the four-month, the... yeah. I, I think that's going to be exciting. I get, so I, I, I compiled the, and I, I didn't get a chance to record it, for the show that releases tomorrow, because Randy is... Uh, he already published it, uh, but I recorded the, the outro um, or the contest piece for it. And so I, I have all the data from the There's one year that. tournament on that. And it was, it was, uh, it was significant. I mean, there were some real awesome scorers in that contest, yeah. but Shin you can kind of see some of the... Big L even did pretty amazing. Yeah. And he, uh, you know, there was some consternation if you ask Big L about how the, the points went. So I'm hoping this <laughs> iteration here with the hard cap will help keep uh, will help keep things under control. I think that's um, a clever at least idea more as well. Competitive. It's I think this uh, iteratively is getting better and better. Yeah, that's Fishel, kind of the idea, right? It takes really went steps. pretty hard in the leapfrog, so I completely understand if you're going to be tired for the UHH, but UHH is where it's at. Facial the floor 13th place. That is in an impressive the, uh, run leapfrog. in Leapfrog. He I went out a long time on. Ago. Uh, he needed six achievements with 9.0 and got five of them. Uh, so, man, facial, that is nuts. Three minutes shy. Three. Is that the Minecraft oh, one that you were talking about? Man. The, the one that wouldn't pop for you that popped for Grand Staff? Catastrophe. So that's, man, that's tough. That's a tough spot. This is a jacket. Is the jacket the black thing? Yeah, oh, that was it. We had the same thought. <laughs> <laughs> well timed. The wallet is behind the computer monitor. Underneath it. That's a wallet? Good call. It's got money in it. I think so. Yep. Take the money and run. Give me the monies. All right. Compass is the last one we have. Is that it? That looks like a compass, but it could also just be... Oh, that's a compass. Yeah, no, that's I it. Think, I think it is, yeah. I was thinking like it might be the gauge on a like diving suit or something, but man, we nailed that. I tell you what, using more people in this is it feels like cheating. We are so good at this because there's a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, kind of yeah. cool. I mean, I just want to get a party together just to do this myself at some point. <laughs> We're looking for a blue crab, but that's a red crab. But, you know, the blue crab is a species, the, so this could still be a blue crab. The blue crab, no, it's on the bottom, next to okay. the fishing line. It's a little yep. stuffed animal crab. Adara is the best kind I of this game? Know. I haven't played Adara. The first episode of Adara is free, but the rest are not, so I haven't gotten it. Because I didn't want to spend money on it yet. California. It's funny, I happen. thought Adara was like a twin stick shooter for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, a, a mining pan full of potato chips. Well, it's got chips in it, but they're not poker chips. Here's a playing card. We need a playing card for the poker the, the, chips. The poker chips are in front of the walrus on top of the Oh, good the call. Yeah, there. yeah, that is nice. But the poker mining the pan could be the bottom right corner. Or that could be yep. an LP. I can't tell. I, th I think yeah. it's the mining pan. can't see well enough. Pat, oh, no, cat, yeah, it's, it is an LP. So Adara is a hidden object and puzzle game really clever puzzles. Oh, there uh, we go. Compare it to uh, Enigmatis and the rest of those. This is by the same company, right? Just those are for PC. Uh, I mean... Uh, Artifacts Mundi? Artifacts Mundi, right? They do I th those? I think Adara did, uh, is by Artifacts Mundi as well. Magnifying Glass? I'm not sure. Facial's not okay. sure. I'm pretty sure it is, but I can't remember. Postcards... Book. Seal. <laughs> yeah, look at that. What are we looking? Chart board, mining pan. Oh, here's the, the yeah the circuit board. Circuit board. Yep. Chart. I mean, can you be like more specific than chart? 
Oh, so Adura is Hit Point yeah, Incorporated and MS is the publisher. Not even close to Artifact. So then compare it to Artifacts Monday. Have you played an Artifacts Monday, Facial? Those games are great. I'm actually going to try and play one right now. I need. I have one of my... Uh... This is a chart, right? I call this a chart. This looks like what I do in my blogs. Sure. That could be a chart. It's got, yep. it's got, got a graph on it. All right, that did count as the money pan. It was either that okay. or the chips. California map. So we're looking for a map. That can't be that bad, right? We've been getting a lot of ideas. I wonder if this is the ID we're supposed to be getting. That's that looks nope. like the calling card. Yeah. That was not. I Didn't clicked work. on it and it did not work. Uh, uh, that's a map. There it is. Oh yeah. I thought that was a newspaper. Achievements. Two yeah. achievements. <laughs> we are rocking it through. Perfect. Wait, how uh, many are in this? I thought there's only 12. Isn't this a... There's only 12 uh, achievements. Xbox, it's an Xbox yeah, Live Arcade, arcade game. So we've gotten three of the 12 achievements already. Excellent work in San Francisco. Yeah, it was. We know. We know. Unfortunately, Dr. Chaos remains at large because you can't just, you know, win the game on the first mission. That doesn't work. We were going to spend some time talking about RPGs because we were going to be playing an RPG. If you go into a game as an RPG and you're expecting a long story and you win after the first fight, you're like, meh. Yeah, but, but you, you do that in, like, in uh, like Zelda, in theory? Like, you could go straight to Ganon, at least I've heard. I haven't played um, Breath of the Wild yet. I haven't played Breath of the Wild at all. Uh, the only one that I've really spent significant time playing are the original two. Uh... Link to the Past, not like the past. Ocarina. No, no, like NES. <laughs> Way back. Oh. <laughs> original Zelda. The original Zelda. Dr. Oh, Chaos is still yeah, large. The Dark Souls games, you can easily go places you're not ready for. Absolutely. Um, actually, Dark Souls was something we were talking about streaming in the near future. So if Dark Souls is something that people would like to see where I go out and get absolutely destroyed, I am totally willing to die for your entertainment. Oh my gosh. I did that for uh, my first time. I streamed it, and it was a disaster. And everybody in the... Uh... Everybody in the chat was thought it was hilarious when <laughs> I went ahead and uh, you know just started trying to fight one of these giant awful dudes, and then I spent like 30 minutes going into the desert or the, the graveyard, constantly getting killed by zombies or skeletons, I guess. Yeah, it was, it was perpetual butt pokes. Not, yep. Yeah, a hundred perfectly timed pokes to the ass. <laughs> so we got the hackers. That's how you guide. win Dark Souls. That was pretty easy. Uh, so, in addition to you know my love of RPGs, uh, I know Des loves RPGs. So this is not a dollar bill. I I object. This is a twenty dollar bill. That is clearly Ben Franklin. Or that makes it a fifty, right? That's a fifty. <laughs> Just click it. H you hundo. Frank <laughs> Franklin is hundo. <laughs> Franklin is a hundo. Uh, so we're just escalating here. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was wrong. I don't care how wrong I was. They were more wrong. <laughs> State map of New York. 15 hours, jeez, that's funny. Yeah, not for me. So, so I was going to uh, ask, for the first thing uh, before we go into Dark uh -huh. Souls and RPGs was uh, your name. Because yes. I've clearly, you know, you've, you've got your community, you've been talking. But I always want, so you go by X Pobos, right? Yep. I mean, uh, that's, that's one way of pronouncing it. What do you do? <laughs> Spovos? Like, Kronos. like Dr. Xavier? I go by X, Crow, Kronos, X Bovos works. Wait, so where's the C come from? Uh, so the confused. X is the, is the Kai. Tyro, Omicron, New Omicron. Oh, oh, sneaky. Gotcha. Is this a wheel? Look, it's not a wheel. That's that is a wheel. It's a ship's wheel, actually. Yeah. This one? I think so. Ships. I'll give it a click. Looks like a watch face. Nope, that didn't work. Nope, not uh, not a wheel. Not a wheel. Not the wheel we're looking for. These are not the wheels we're looking for. <laughs> How really can you sad. not find a burger? Oh, there's the burger. It's on the poster underneath the microphone, upper right corner. 
inside that mouth. Oh, good call. Right, there you go. Nice. Man, yeah, no, that not... hacker needs to clean their workstation. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I, the well, hacker in the statue of Dennis Nedry. Oh, oh. Dennis Nedry. Nice reference. Which is actually excellent because next week, if we can't stream a half minute hero, Jurassic Park's up. Mm hmm. Nice. So that's, that's the on our list. Game. That's on our list. I probably will not be actually doing it next week, but. Uh, facial. Other than Freem, I have with me my good friend Dez. Uh, she's my co host most times. I brought Freeman because he's. Uh, I was really concerned that I would be going into the tank playing a, a speedy RPG like Half Minute Hero, so I was afraid I was not going to be very talkative. Uh, so I wanted to have someone else to help out and carry the conversation. We're not playing Half Minute Hero because Half Minute Hero is not streamable, the jerks. So uh, brought Freeman to help <laughs> me out. Weak. Agreed. And now I'm just hanging out because I have nothing better to do. Yeah. Like you couldn't sleep for half an hour or something? There's my sleep when you're dead. Hello, sticky note. No, there's it's no time for cash, sleep. Cash. You're on probably about four hours a night these days, I figure. From what four and a half is what I've been doing. Uh, not enough. But it's, uh, you know, I'm getting there. That's my goal, I think, for 2018. Oh, your sleep. that'll be, yep, yeah, that'll be my New Year's resolution. That's a disco ball, not a bowling ball. Popcorn, popcorn. Yep. Saxophone. Oh, there's the bowling ball. So yeah, so I love RPGs. Des loves RPGs. Free. You've been playing some Diablo, and Diablo doesn't really count so much as an RPG, but... I... It does not. Uh, I used to play a ton of RPGs when I was a kid. Uh, I mean, grew up, I, mean, I loved RPGs, especially on the Nintendo, the Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger, uh, oh, Secret of Mana. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, you know, those are just gems of games, and I, I absolutely adored playing those. I mean, even just looking at the... NES Super NES Classic that's coming out with so many of those titles that I just remember so fondly with such, you know, rose-colored nostalgia glasses. Um, and, and I just think of how much time I poured into each and every one of those. There's such a fleeting thought now with how limited my, my time and availability is that right. I have a growing backlog of RPGs I want to play. I mean, I have all of the Final Fantasies on Xbox ready to go. I've got The Witcher Complete Edition sitting here ready to go. Skyrim, I haven't given really Which, any Witcher? time to. Uh, Witcher 3. Well, technically Witcher 2 as well, but, uh, you know. That was um, Games with Gold Witcher at one 3. point, so. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's, I, that's why I have it. I played a little I was like bit of it. I'm 99% sure this was Warfare. the yellow sticky note. I can't. It doesn't click. Sorry. It does look like a yellow sticky note. That's weird. I could use the hint, so... Oh, there it is. Is the yellow sticky note on on top of that knife down here? Oh, you found it. So, old school RPGs, but this, the problem that we have these days, of course, is that we don't have enough time to play all the games that we get. Uh, this is a constant thing for Des and I. We talk about the games that we you know, don't just get, but sometimes we buy, and then they just sit in the backlog and we don't even play them. Uh, that's the one of the reasons why away. I, the games that got away. That's one of the reasons I like streaming this is that I get a chance. To, I I force myself to play some of these games that I bought, you know, cheaply. Uh, I bought most of these games very very cheaply. But if I wasn't streaming them, I'm not sure I'd be playing them. Not because I don't like them sure. or want to play them. So that set us hard a little bit of time and make sure I get through it. My PC library is the worst. Yeah. Uh, for. <laughs> I bought it for two dollars, and I'm totally gonna play it for real uh, one day. So I have a bunch of those. This good, good old games is the best for this. I actually have played a fair number of them, but uh, I think that there are a number of games on good old games that I would really, really genuinely love to play, but I never get around to it. Like Faster Than Light or Papers Please. Games that I know are fantastic and right up my alley, and I still don't play them. In these cases, partially because they don't have achievements, so they're not my priority, but also because I just don't have the time. 
play all these games. There are too many good games. What a thing to complain about. Right. Special mentions he has yeah. 200 games on Steam, but he's only played about 10 of them, which puts you right back in the majority, actually. Uh, something Des and I love to talk about is an article uh, that we found probably about a year, year and a half ago. Yeah. Analyzing Steam libraries. Des, go ahead and give up the rest of that because I want to spend some time looking for these handprints. I figure it's got to be on the window, right? It was... Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, you, you find it and then... That'll be easier to give the whole details. Uh, I won't give and the whole Des, thing away, but it's it's amazing. So, I mean, you're a you're a PlayStation user, right? So we were um, just talking about Dark yeah. Souls. Oh, it's an arrow. Do you you get in on uh, on it's an arrow. Bloodborne? On Bloodborne? Yeah, yeah. Um, I got I picked it up on sale. It was maybe forty percent ish off, and at, at that I was like. I can do it. Yeah. Um, it was, it, it's the same deal, you know. Right. Um, you spend an annoying amount of time trying to kill the first thing until you realize you can run around it and you're not supposed to kill it. <laughs> and just sure. the same type of experience, you know. <laughs> Did you and find the... it a little easier than Dark Souls? Or, I mean, because I had heard some of that there's a little bit more flexibility uh, not that it's any less brutal but yeah um i think so i'd rather play like if if you if you don't want to be punished as much that's the one i would go to i'd put it more on the level of playing doom on some of the harder difficulties you have to really be paying attention you have to be thinking. You can't panic. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't feel like the game is out to get you as much. For some oh, reason, no I, always be out. I always got Bloodborne confused with The Order 1886 because I think they just must have come out close to each other at the same time period. And of course, they, they have nothing yeah. in common. Nope. Well, and we played The Order together in like a day, I think. Yeah, it was that was a fun experience. <laughs> oh wow, that game! I swear to God, that game. Um, That's not the the laptop folded up behind it, is it? Behind the monitor. Well, there was the, the arrow monitor? that was right there initially, so I don't think oh, they put an gotcha. object behind another object. But that's that was a reasonable. Yeah, consideration. there are lots of wolf. There creatures. it is. Lots of creatures. Oh, yep. More Lovecraftian, I guess, in terms. of of a vibe for bloodborne now this sort of steampunky yep. bloodborne yeah mm -hmm. uh facial birds. said it's like One. faster paced dark souls with no shields that's true and the world is really pretty i agree it's more victorian it's a that's, it's that's a, a whole penguin. different vibe Is this? Is this a thing? Is it looks like it's got a raised edge on there. I guess we got the easy ones now. <laughs> now it's gonna go downhill, right? <laughs> but I I heard that the developer of Dark Souls and, and um, Bloodborne, it's the same. That the games are modeled after his experience learning English. Okay. And how information was fed to him in tiny little bits. And he had to kind of figure things out on his own. <clears throat> and pe people couldn't explain things to him. So the games are supposed to be like learning English as a Japanese person. That you just have... Like it's... And that's why you have to read all the item descriptions to get the full right. story. And... But after playing Dark Souls or Bloodborne, um, if that's what it's like to, to learn English, I'm just glad I didn't have to learn English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those eight birds knew where Dr. Chaos's lair was? No, no, they, they knew where the next step to Dr. Chaos's lair was. 
That's funny. I was just thinking the same too. thing, too. Like, what? How are these birds going to help us <laughs> solve the mystery? So, do you guys have a favorite yeah. RPG so far? Oh, oh, that's tough. Favorite of all time, because, jeez. Mass Effect 2, uh, that's what um, Facial likes. Good one. I would, gonna, yeah. Um, yeah pick, pick for an tough. American, I would say probably Dragon Age. Um, or go oh, back to Quest for Glory. Because that's the game oh that put gosh. me on RPGs. Those that's another way to right? Weren't those so good? Well, yes. They were fantastic. That was, and that was when I first for... played Dragon Age, I felt the same as when I first played okay. Quest for Glory, and I think that's why I like Dragon Age. Facial liked Eternal, Eternal Sonata. Sonata is good. I enjoyed my time at Eternal Sonata. But I would not call it a really, really good Final Fantasy IX. Yes, best. why not? Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> he remembers. Uh, of course. Yay! <laughs> the best Final Fantasy. No so, question. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Final Fantasy, of course, is a great <laughs> series for the for the RPG genre. But I don't know that uh, five or six are the best. Six is really good. But I like four better than six personally. That's that's definitely nostalgia talking, though. I recognize six is probably the technically better game, but I love four. Mm -hmm. The best Final Ameri Fantasy is probably the My Little Pony's Final Fantasy six. <laughs> right. So we never <laughs> finished talking thing? about that the other day. Yeah, someone replaced all the sprites with ponies. Final Fan from, from My, Little um, ponies. My Little Pony. French That's magic. hilarious. And reload some of the dialogue, and it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Dez sent this to me as a YouTube stream or feed for, it's definitely not a stream, the guy spent a ton of time editing it. Um, mm -hmm. Playing through it, and he's a big My Little Ponies fan, so he's talking about these lore things I just don't understand, but he has incredibly insightful commentary on it, and it's just really entertaining to watch. So uh, maybe you can throw a link to that up, uh, the first video up in the chat, Dez. I'll try and find one and put it up there. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, Chrono Trigger was mentioned already. Uh, Ypod mentions it again. That was an amazing game. I didn't play Chrono Trigger until college. Um, just oh yeah, KOTOR too. Oh really? But I really did enjoy yeah. it. I mean, you'd think that with my name I would have played it, but I... Now there's an RPG coming out in either late 2017 or early 2018 that has the combat system from Chrono Cross. It's the same team working on it. Really? It's supposed to be a kind of nostalgia RPG. Mm -hmm. Let me... Okay, let me not give myself too many tasks. <laughs> I yeah. need to find... Let me get My Little Ponies out of the way. <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a roll here. I'm actually getting these. It's, it's me. I feel good about that. That's funny. Yeah, I, I had never heard about uh, this My Little Pony action. The My Little Pony Final Fantasy VI? How could yeah. this epic Stick game around. Release? We talk about the weirdest stuff. <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of our niche. <laughs> No, yeah, is this like, going to be the same that, umbrella no as the one... last time, or is it going to be a different umbrella? You think it'd be a different one, right? Earthlock. So Earthlock was a Games of the Gold RPG. I haven't started it yet. I'm really excited to play it, but uh, I've avoided starting too many games that I don't. I know I'm not going to have the time to complete for a while, so I haven't actually started Earthlock, Earthlock yet. But that's one that yeah, I am I'm excited for. I was excited for it before it was Games of the Gold. I was, I was hyped for it at release, but... Again, how much time do I have to play? I'm just glad I got it for free, so it can at least be in my backlog and not cost me money. I'm with you. I and to be honest, I've been saving it for as the letter E. Uh, <laughs> that makes it's, sense. It's it's a great <laughs> it's a great letter E, and it'll take me a while to you know do everything. So, Des, are you do you are you familiar with our I know uh, 
the both of us mentioned that you're not much uh, of an achievement hunter like we are, but um, has he, he told you about the gamer tag challenges? I haven't mentioned the gamer tag yeah. challenges, but uh, she knows a lot about we a lot of the. We emailed back and forth about UHH, mm -hmm. and I pointed out that I don't even have enough Xbox games started to that qualify. I could even participate. <laughs> Um, yeah, although at least 50 in games, PlayStation which is a games, lot. I totally have, yeah. or, or probably Steam, do, or but GOG. or Steam, yeah, yeah, and uh, what? Um, it's umbrella. That, really uh, that other service, oh, EA, uh, EA Vault would help too. Yeah, if you wanted to get, saying, get in huh? quickly, you could just you know buy access to uh, the Microsoft Game Pass for a couple months, get a hundred games there. At least, so mm -hmm. you'd, be, you'd be set really fast. But then, uh, is that full of games that you're interested in playing, really, is that, the question? Probably not, yeah. But you throw them all yeah. on. It's a playing card, not a calling card. Is that a calling card or another playing card? It's like a playing card. Playing card. I keep just dr my eyes keep drawing to Cthulhu there. I can't stop looking at him. Oh, uh, is that an Ood? I have no idea. I'm not much of a Lovecraftian guy. I just uh, uh... Not, there's there's uh, creatures from Doctor Who that look a lot like this that carry around the ball. Oh yeah, the Doctor Who. Yes, someone gets me. There you go. <laughs> I found the My Little Ponies. Awesome, guys. Uh, okay. This is this is a good thing. Uh, oh, I I, it, I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's it's well worth. I found watching. it. It's, you found the umbrella. It's the red thing behind behind the paw. The red one I, there. I didn't click on it, but yep, that is it. Good job. Success. All right. Okay. So I had My Little Ponies, the Steam Analysis. The Steam Analysis, right? And what was the third? I had another one. No, I think those are the only two. Got aliens. Oh, all the, over the place. RPG Three aliens. coming out. With right. chrono triggers, um, combat. This mask. Hey, I got an achievement there. Click on the draw. It's called Lost Sphere, but Sphere oh, is nope. S P H E A R. What? No, it's the, and the it's a combat level of shoe is from Chrono Trigger, not Chrono Cross. So I see the shoe in the center on top of the symbol, the hi hat. Coming Coming January twenty eighth. Straight, straight, straight down from there is the shoe. Oh, there's the, the stiletto heel. There you go. Nice. I was wondering if it was the the shoe okay. or the dagger. Okay. We have one more alien. I. Yeah. Aliens down the lower right corner. I, I think. think that's true, <laughs> Wipod. Uh, it is the a game star. will be easier with does the 4K power of Xbox One. It does X. not count as a star. That, that counts as a star, though. Yeah. Uh, Except the lower right that he corner. still has tiny Bobos. TV problem. I do have tiny TV so. problems. <laughs> so, Cream, you didn't hear this story. Down. Uh, no. This this thing? Yeah. This is the alien. alien. Yep. Okay, I can't really see that. So. Um, Tiny my, TV, TV problems? Is that what my it? eldest daughter uh, was playing around in our basement where my TV is, where I am right now playing. Uh, and she managed to crack our big screen TV. Oh, no. So we are left with small TV, which is better yeah, than no I, TV. I'm very happy about that. The I think button. it's above the mouse. Oh, you got it? Oh, there it is. Below the mouse. So... Kronos, I decided to search email for the Steam analysis, uh -huh. and I was like, I probably titled it something to do with charts. <laughs> I typed chart into my Gmail search bar, it's all me, and it right? immediately suggested porn, because oh, I've gosh. sent you so many emails titled chart porn. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know what you gets have, me going. I know, I know what gets you going. <laughs> Okay. So the spider web didn't have the spider in it. That, that's not a spider. That's a scorpion. That's a yeah. spider. There's a handprint. A, cl 
clapper. What the heck's a clapper? Oh, I know the movie thing. We're in Hollywood, right? So that that thing that the the grip will snap. Oh, the right. Thing. I was thinking like you know, clap on, clap off the clapper. There's the clapper. I was thinking some w weird British thing. I don't know why. Let's see. The microscope is uh, right below your cursor. I figured you. Oh, see finally. That's Your target audience it doesn't is. exist. That's, That's the one, what it yes. was called. Right. And I, I know I blogged about it at one point, so it's, it's in my blog as well, but that was probably easier to find it that way. Yeah, so if you're watching this on YouTube or later, just Google your target audience doesn't exist. And for YouTube, and I'll throw both it. these links up into the, the description as well. And then I... Hidden underground facility beneath a lot of the Hollywood Film Studio. So this is this is why we're going to find like I don't know six birds this time. Six birds. Eight eyes. <laughs> okay. There's one eye. There's one. Oh, these are creepy looking. There's a blue one right in the middle. To the right, there it is. So oh, wow, Egyptian eye. In the... Yeah. Uh, uh, above, next to the the red button there. Yep. In the analysis of what people own and play on Steam, they set, found that people who own Dota 2 um, own an average of 12 games and spend most of their time playing Dota 2. Dota and pretty much only Dota. So, they basically so, just play Dota. So Dota yeah. rounds out the Baker's Dozen and that's all they play. Right. And then people who have um, CSGO own about 40 games. And the drop off for time spent is less sharp. So Dota 2 owners spend all their time playing Dota. CSGO owners spend a lot of time on that but they, they play their other games too there one down for here rocket league see. it's 78 games on average and for torchlight 2 it's 117 like. so basically it was kind of match yourself to the chart that you How do we feel not see that? most represents you So where's um, the chart? But that if you're in Torchlight 2, that grouping, I think you're in the 1%, the top 1% of um, Steam in terms of game ownership. Right, so only 1% of the gamers who play on Steam or have Steam titles have 100 or more titles, basically. So basically, we're right. all 1%ers, and... Most people don't have this many games, and they play one game all the time. It's either Dota or Counter Strike or the latest Madden franchise game, whatever it is, and they play that to death. But then we have people like us who are samplers. We play the same thing over and over again, but in new games. Mm -hmm. So we want the new experience. It's funny. I used to do this with Call of Duty. Uh, it was Modern Warfare 2 at the time, and it was just constantly like that's that's what i would play um and uh, you know I, I was still going after achievements like those little titles you know that you get for getting a thousand kills with whatever gun and i would mix it up every time and i just looked at that and i'm like I, I gotta play something else like i'm just getting so sick of this and pretty much that was the end of my call of duty stuff but i could see, i mean you get devoted to a title you want to just you want to get good and you know there's enough variety there to keep you moving uh, especially with the strong multiplayer component that each of those games have. Henry Hammerstein, a.k.a. The Hammer. He, he doesn't look friendly. He's got a fist. He's like MC Hammer almost. Yeah. So Facial also mentions that he played thousands of hours on Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare, Warfare 2. So clearly, you know, even among us 1%ers, there are games that we love and will play to death. So my 
category of games for that is Diablo, as I'm being reminded from the bar here. I love Diablo. Diablo 2, I honestly put in 1,000, 2,000 hours on Diablo 2 easily. Diablo 3, the no, clock's right, it's not getting moving, yes, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo 3, I, uh, I probably have put in close to 1,000 hours on now. Uh, and Hearthstone, I have probably put in about 1,000 hours. Especially if you count watching YouTube videos of other people playing Hearthstone, then I'm definitely a thousand hours. Well, on my part, with Dota, you might be running into um, results being skewed by people who got banned and had to make multiple accounts. It could be that, and it could be like the amount of time it takes oh, to get yank. really good at Dota or League or whatever, you just don't have a lot of time for other stuff. Especially if you work or commute or going to school. If you enjoy sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy sleeping. I don't know if I enjoy it more than uh, playing games, though. Yeah, That's the real question. Sun symbol. What is a sun symbol? It better not be this character, because I will. I'll, I'll throw a controller at that point. All right, I'm gonna the Google suns? the the character for sun. That's not. I guarantee you that that is not the case. There's, there's no way they would have done that to us. Uh, infinity symbol. That's pretty straightforward. Really oh, like the that. Chinese checkers board. Is well, it the it. Ankh over there on the left side? Well, that, that the actually could be the sun symbol. Thing? I guess I'm nope, not terribly not familiar it. with it. You see that on the far left there, behind the mouse? Did you or like Battleborn facial? Looks like a sun. Oh, there it is. There it is. Good call. Uh, infinity symbol at the bottom there. Yep. Spotted the candlestick on the other map pretty easily, but this time it's giving me. F it's... So here, this thing, this is like a, a tambourine. So I figured this would have been like what we were thinking to see for the clapper for the last map or two maps back. Sure. I think the red candle's a red thing straight below in front of that umbrella. This thing? Yeah. It's... Yep, good call. I actually had thought that that might be the case, but I didn't see enough to make me convinced. Set of right. keys. It's funny you mention that facial because I, I was trying to do a Battleborn achievement for. I think I need the letter B for something, so I was like, oh, you know what? Oh, oh, it was it was trying to get, uh, trying to get those those daily quests that they have now, and so I decided, I decided to, just give it a shot. Spent thirty minutes looking for a match, and I think you need like twelve to get started. And I capped out at four people. So absolutely, there you need you need like a boosting group, because right. it's it's not going to happen otherwise. So Battleborn was just completely destroyed by Overwatch, is what we're hearing. Completely destroyed. Pretty much. It is not free to play, to the best of my knowledge. Otherwise, I probably would have downloaded it. Not that I ever intend to play it. I don't think it. We actually, it did it go free to play. And the game kind some of stuff. To... Just, just the. I think the multiplayer went free to play. Um, so you can you can play multiplayer free, but you can't do the single player stuff, and you don't unlock. You have to do the rotation when it comes to, um, you know the whatever the heroes that are available. So this is a But candle. um you can pick up a copy it's not a torch. At Best Buy for seven fifty. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's dirt cheap nowadays. <laughs> no, not as cheap as play Star either. Wars Battlefront, where they're giving away the season pass right now and the base game is only four dollars and fifty cents. That is cheap. Well my husband and I did um, alpha, beta, and stress testing for Battleborn. And um, we disliked it so much that we never played it when it came out, even though we, we totally could have. <laughs> um, 
but I don't know if that's always a fair um, way to experience, uh, you know. It's in beta. Things will change. But they didn't necessarily change for the better. Yeah. Isabel. Yeah, I don't know. I have never played the finished Battleborn. It's it's uh, it's fun. I, you know, the, and I don't know if they've changed this, but like the um, the individual missions were really pretty tricky. Like they were fun, the single player things, almost if you treated them like Destiny raids. Hey, um, fuck. They're not raids. Welcome. Kind of kind of more like strikes. But you ended up going through them, and then there'd be these stage gates, and you could get through the first three, four stage gates, no problem, and then you'd hit that final boss, and he would just wreck you, and it was, you had to, you had to restart the whole thing. Like, there, there was no good checkpointing that allowed you to um, just pick up where you left off, and I don't know that that's changed at all in any recent updates, but that was always super frustrating, because you'd work so hard and it would just be for naught. Yeah, that would be frustrating. Um, this week I played the 20th anniversary of Another World. Oh, and um, yeah. Oh my God, the the that game is not good. Are just too far apart because <laughs> it's such a frustrating game to play. And to have to repeat and repeat and repeat everything is so annoying. Oh my god, 100, absolutely. It is terrible. I, I made it, I made it about, like, I think four, 30 to 40 percent through that game. One more. Because I'm, I'm looking at it, it's, it's supposed to be like an easy completion. I was like, oh, yeah, this will be fine. And uh, I, yeah, I quit way early. I was like, nope, this isn't happening. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I think I've had about enough of it. It's funny because when I started it, I was like, this feels familiar. And then when I was jumping over the slimes, I was like, I have definitely jumped over these slimes before. These exact I feel ones. like I'm remembering it from 20 years ago. Like I had played it back in the day on the PC. And now I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> Flashbacks in a good way or a bad way? No, not in a good way. <laughs> uh, not the good kind of flashback. I'm gonna click on the teapot. It was sucky back it then looks too. Like Aladdin's lamp. Yeah, I don't it imagine that it Aladdin's got worse lamp. over time. <sighs> Should I just use a hint for this last lamp? Is there any? You have 22 like, minutes some... left. No, that's not it. No, no using hints. Don't be a baby. You're a <laughs> gamer. I am a gamer. We can do You're it together. You're a one percenter. If we all join gamer. hands. I have a fair number of new people who have never heard this story before, so I'll tell it again here. Uh, the I'm a gamer quote goes way back for Des and I when we were playing Until Dawn on PlayStation for, for something she was working on. And uh, I couldn't figure out how to twist my wrist in the game, which is a mechanic you need to do to see the other side of a piece of paper a lot. And it's one of the very first things you do. So right before then, I had, like, three seconds before I couldn't turn over a piece of paper in a game, I had clarified to everyone, I'm a gamer. I got this. When you refused <laughs> to use the baby controls, and That's I right. told you to use the need... baby controls because That's you weren't no. used to the motion control But it wasn't supposed to be motion PS4 control. controller. I... It... <laughs> Should you have used the baby controls? Do you feel like you should have? Well, after we... I think we even tried turning them on at one point. It still didn't help, right? Was, yeah, that, that I don't was, think it did was... help. Alright, Fug. Let's uh, let's introduce ourselves again. we got some people in. Um, I'm Kronos. With me, I have my good friend Dez. And special guest tonight, we have Freem. Hey, this is Freem. That's a little... This sorry, is this, Dez. That's one of my... That's one of my inside jokes when I, in our Titanfall groups, would make sure that everyone knew it was me. Uh, to, you know, because if you're doing, like, a Destiny raid, you're with a bunch of randoms. You gotta say, alright, this is free, I'm doing this. Uh, those guys made fun of me because they all listen to my podcast and... They all know who you are. ...know my voice pretty well. 
And now with this this chat overlay, man, you can you, you can see who's talking at all times, which is fantastic. No, it's, it's definitely uh, steps in the right direction. Uh, Xbox One is significantly better than the Xbox 360 for quality of chat, ease of access, and functionality like that. Some drawbacks, of course, as well, but overall, it definitely steps in the right direction. Hockey mask. Agreed. Helmet. Bobby helmet. That's not a Bobby helmet. This is a goalie helmet. Bob. A Bobby the helmet. Bobby helmet. It's right it's... above the tire of There's the bicycle. There's the Bobby helmet. Yep, good call. Jack. So somehow we managed, plot-wise, we were in England, obviously. We may have lost that. Baseball caps. Well, is this a baseball cap? This looks like a baseball cap. Oh, it's a riding hat. They put... It's a construction cap or something. Jockey's cap. Bowling pin. Are we talking like Skittles or? Oh, that's the regular bowling pin. Okay. Pair of shoes. Are we looking at the bottom it. of some cleats? Go straight up. Further up, straight, straight there. Oh, good call. Yeah, those do look like cleats. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Well, I was too clever for my own good. Also a walkie-talkie. A pair of shoes and a walkie-talkie. Alright, let's take a look here. Center of screen. Oh yeah, that's Talkie's great. yellow. Good call. Thank you, Fug. Is the calling card... Right above the fan that's spinning. No, that's a playing card. It's the Ace of Clubs. It's an actual playing card. It's the pair of shoes. A pair of loafers. So it looks like we can probably get one or two more maps in here. So finish off this one and do this the bonus round. I think that's probably about all the time we've got for tonight. So what? Do you know how many? Missions are in this. I this game. don't. It's probably four because there was there were four bad guys. So the first one we captured, Mr. Smith. Now we're trying to get um, Hammer, Puka. There's a French horn. Um, Sun. Money, money, Just money. It looks like there's 11 missions. Love's down in the lower right. That's the that's where I have trouble seeing things. Because like that's where I have the, the chat screen. CRT TV? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's it. And plus also, uh, the, the size of the screen is definitely a factor. <laughs> I think the inkwell is down to the left in next to the camera. Is that another one? So next to the oh, there it to is. To the I right, see. right of the camera. Have, yeah. Good eyes, good eyes. Knife on the table below the cross. I remember seeing the cross. Yep. There it is. There it is. A knife. And the red quill is left middle. Nope. I don't see that. Quill. We left need, middle. We need money bag. Money that's bag. A, that's a plume. Is this it? We need this money, looks bag. The money bag. Yay, I got that one. Sweet. Saving the world is so easy. <laughs> well, we're Interpol. We make it look easy. You yeah, see that this is this is why Interpol is good. They have teamwork, right? Everyone gets together and they all solve the mystery together. Three different maps. One. Two. Looks like a map. That also this is like London map. map. Right next to it, that blue London map in front of the cow. Oh yeah, that's definitely a map. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It refused it. It's a freaking it says map. <laughs> what a travesty. Bid. 
Apparently I just didn't click on it right. Maybe I'm clicking on some of these wrong. I'm clicking too fast. Notification, go away so I can do this. Thank you. Not bad, Mike. What are we looking for? Draw hat number one. I keep like changing what my my target is. Oh yeah, the roller skate underneath the football. Thanks, Fug. Is this a straw hat here? Nope. Sure. Skateboard next to the luggage. Oh yep, facial found it too. All right in the middle oh, of the good. screen. Left. Right there. This is not a straw hat, this is a fedora. Click on it anyway. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Smiley face and jacket. Oh, the jacket's on the whiteboard behind the trophy. On the left side there. It's a picture. Oh, it's a picture of a jacket. Yes. Sneaky. Right of the luggage. Yep, yep, there it is. That's uh, yep, on the uh, silver part. Nice job. Disturbing reports. Good luck. There's eight flags. Okay, so we got one there. Come on. One up here. There. Is that a flag with straw hats on it? <laughs> hanging, hanging from the bridge. I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Oh, you got him. That was quick. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. That was very close, Asian. Very close. No, we, we, we wrecked it pretty well. All under control right from the start. Dangerous materials, they're so dangerous, they're banned in Moscow. That's how dangerous they are. Well, after Tom Cruise blew up the Kremlin, I'm pretty sure Moscow has security locked down tight. <laughs> I thought Tom Cruise was dead. Aren't you watching Preacher? Tom Cruise is not in Preacher. No, because he's dead. <laughs> oh, you mean? <laughs> are you making a Preacher reference? I'm, I'm making not a preacher watching. Reference. Okay, so you're not watching uh, the current season of Preacher. Actually, I don't know if it's in this current. It should have been last season because it's one of the first things that happens. Anyway, that is Interpol, which is not. Half minute hero, disappointingly, but we had a great time. I'm definitely glad I had everyone to come in because it made this thing go a lot easier for spotting things. And hopefully, everyone had a good Absolutely. time chatting. Uh, we'll be back next time again, not with half minute hero because it refuses to stream. Uh, but we'll have bonus coverage on Saturday. We're gonna do oxen free, and we'll be back next oh, Tuesday. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do oxen free because uh, it's gonna be free. Our... Right, so that's the first day that it's uh, Games with Gold, so I'll get it then, and we'll start it up and probably do a two-hour session of Oxenfree so we can really get into the game, and we'll continue our discussion with um, choice in games, whether it's illusory and whether it matters. So there we go. Thank you, everyone, for stopping well, by. I... Go ahead, Des. I was going to say, Oxenfree, you choose every line of your own dialogue, unlike a Telltale game where you kind of make major decisions. So the script for Oxenfree is 18,000 pages long. So it might have more choice. But will it matter in the end when those choices of script, as we saw last week, were no, nope, and nada? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sometimes choice is not actually there. And my, my point last week was is that, generally speaking, doesn't actually matter because sometimes the emotional impact of 
being able to make a choice, even when it doesn't feel like a choice, is still something that's worthwhile in a game, because you have the agency. So we'll try that on Saturday, and next Tuesday we'll be back with To Be Determined. Either uh, Jurassic Park or Dark Souls, I'm thinking, are our two top choices. So if you want to see me die a lot, let me know, and we'll do Dark Souls. If you want something that's story-driven and we can just talk about the story in Jurassic Park and hackers, then uh, we'll do Jurassic Park. Dark Souls has a vote already. So there you go. <laughs> I mean, Everybody I would vote loves... for Dark Souls. I definitely want to try and do Everyone Dark Souls this month because it's the TA for this game. So. And one vote for Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, so let me know what your votes Curses. are and we'll, we'll figure it out. Again, thanks for stopping <laughs> by, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a good Bye. one.